are you all wet? <laughs> are you all wet? Yes, you are. Look at you all curly. Scarlett just had a bath. She's all frisky. Aren't you? Frisky and curly. And that is her deer bone. Deer antler. Did you just have a bath? Hmm? You're all wet. Did you just have a bath? Yes, you did. Look at that curly mop. <laughs> look how curly you are. And you look so skinny when you're wet. Not all fluffy. Hey everybody, welcome back to Scarlet's Journey. I'm Josie and this is Scarlett, my F1B Golden Doodle. You might be wondering what is an F1B Golden Doodle? Well, that is when you cross a um, purebred poodle with a Golden Doodle. And so um, her father was a purebred poodle and her mom was a Golden Doodle, which is a mix of a Golden Retriever and a poodle. So um, ever since I knew that I was going to get Scarlett, um, up until this point, I've, I've been wondering, you know, exactly what kind of hair is she going to have? Is uh, it going to shed? Is she going to be curly or, you know, wavy or whatever? So I've done a lot of research on it, and um, she's six months old now. So I thought it might be a good time to talk about um, how you can predict what you think your dog might have. And it might help you when it comes to choosing your puppy. There are three types of hair coats. Um, we've got straight, wavy, and curly. Now a straight coat is uh, more like that of a golden retriever. Um, they're going to be a shedder. They're going to be very low maintenance, if any at all. Um, they do have an, uh, golden retrievers do have an undercoat, so if your uh, puppy takes on that characteristics, there might be a thick undercoat that you would have to deal with. But otherwise, they're very low maintenance dogs as far as that goes. Um, but they're not allergy friendly. Uh, that comes from the poodle parent. The next coat would be the wavy coat, or a lot of people refer to it as a fleece coat or a shaggy coat. And those dogs are going to be um, low maintenance. They might only require, um, you know, weekly brushing or, or occasional brushing. Um, they don't tangle and mat uh, very easily. Um, these dogs are usually more of a hypoallergenic dog. Um, they're oftentimes very low shedders, if, if any at all. And so those uh, people with allergies can usually tolerate, um, you know, the golden doodle that has that shaggy baby on it. Um, usually, those types of dogs have kind of the facial furnishings where you've got the, the mustache and the beard um, compared to the straight coat where the snout hair is real short and close to the face. And the third type of coat is the curly coat. Now that's the coat that is going to look most like your uh, purebred poodle. These are the dogs that are very allergy friendly and don't shed or, or have no obvious uh, visible shedding. Um, these dogs are high maintenance though because uh, they've got that poodle coat. They really ideally should be brushed every day and you want to look for mats and, and make sure that your dog doesn't get matted. Now a lot of people I've read that um, have dogs with a more of a poodle curly type coat um, often just every few months have their dog shaved down just because they don't have uh, the time or whatever to keep their dog brushed regularly. So also if you live around water, maybe you um, have a swimming pool or you take your dog to the beach a lot and they're getting wet a lot. Um, if you've got a dog with a real curly coat, um, that could you know, pose a problem getting it wet all the time with, with the maintenance involved. And you gotta watch for sand and that sort of stuff. So, um, when you look at the hair uh, on a real curly uh, coated dog, um, oftentimes the facial hair can be a little bit shorter. Not like the shaggy coat or the wavy coat where they've got the longer beard and the longer mustache. And the curl 
on this type of dog can either be kind of a barrel curl or it can be a real tight kinky curl. So next I want to talk about facial furnishings. Facial furnishings refer to the, dog, the hair on the dog's face. I'm talking eyebrows, what they call a mustache, and the beard. Um, dogs that have real obvious prominent facial furnishings are ones that are going to be low shedders because golden retrievers don't have facial furnishing. So if your dog takes after the golden retriever, then obviously they're going to be um, a shedding dog. So how do you even begin to predict what type of coat your puppy might have? Well, first you just need to look at the parents. Now in her case, because she's an F1B, we know that she has a full-blooded poodle parent. That means he was, had the positive curl gene. Now her mother was half poodle and half golden retriever. So she's got she carries not only the curly gene, but also the straight gene that she inherited from her golden retriever parent. So, when you mix Scarlett's mom and dad, your possibilities are the dad's going to throw the curly gene, the mom might throw the curly gene, and if she does, that's two positives for the curly gene. <laughs> so, Scarlett would be curly. Another possibility is that dad's going to throw the curly gene because that's what he is and mom could throw the straight gene that she inherited from her golden retriever parents. So you've got a positive and a negative which causes the wavy coat. So Scarlett could be wavy or she could be curly depending on what genes her parents passed on to her. Um, and honestly when I first looked at the puppy pictures that they sent me. Um, actually, she came from a rather small litter. There were seven of them. And this particular breeder, you didn't just go in order of when you got your deposit in. First, you had to decide, do you want a female or a male puppy? Well, we had already decided we wanted a female puppy. And when the litter was born, there were only two female dogs. So I didn't have much of a choice. It was, you know, 50-50. And so what I did is when I looked at the pictures um, of her and her sister, one was obviously curlier than the other. Even as newborn puppies, you could just see the, the kinks and the curl in this puppy's hair. And so I knew right away that I was leaning towards Scarlet because her fur or her hair was just smoother and slicker. Um, and you could definitely tell on her brothers, too, which ones had a wavier coat and which ones had a slicker coat. Well, I had to make that decision at three weeks old. And so she did change between birth and three weeks, but even still, you could tell a definite difference between her and her sister. So I, you know, crossed my fingers. I was hoping that she inherited that wavy coat um, instead of the curly coat for the maintenance and uh, reasons mostly. So when it comes to picking out your puppy, um, look at the nose. But what I've read is that often you want to look for that mustache, that shorter mustache, which is going to mean possibly a curly coat, or the longer facial furnishings, um, which means a shaggy coat, or a really slick snout and no uh, facial furnishings, which means more of a golden retriever coat. So you may be wondering, you know, besides whether my dog is going to have a curly or a wavy or a straight coat, um, is my dog going to shed? The best way to predict that is to have DNA testing done on the parents. Um, I read that in 2016 they were able to identify the shedding gene. And so um, what they do is they look at the shedding index, which is two DNA tests. One is um, the shedding gene, the other one looks at the facial furnishings. And if they um, you know, get those isolated and look at those, they can then predict uh, what the parents are going to throw off to their puppies. Um, a lot of breeders, though, you know, don't do DNA testing on that. So again, you kind of just have to go back and look at the parents, see what the poss possibilities are, and uh, look at the puppy especially around the face area. Now, I keep 
waiting um, for Scarlett's adult coat to come in, and it should be any time now. I haven't seen any changes in her coat at all. It's very soft. I don't even have to brush it. I can run a comb, a metal comb through it. So um, I really, truly believe that she is going to be a wavy coated dog. She has the longer mustache and beard. Um, her hair is so soft and just wavy. There's no barrel curls. There's no kink to it. So, you know, cross your fingers. I'm hoping that that's uh, what her adult coat will continue to look like. So anyway, I hope that um, maybe this has helped you a little bit when you're trying to figure out what your puppy may look like when it becomes an adult or if you're thinking about getting a golden doodle, um, the different possibilities. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Um, I do plan to follow up on Scarlett's coat and see what it is like in a couple of months and give you an update on that. Uh, she should definitely have her adult coat in in the next two or three months or so. So be sure and check back, follow along, and uh, we'll see you next time on Scarlet's Journey.